Hello everyone. Today I will talk about my combos on the QMK and the ZMK keyboards. When your keyboard becomes smaller and smaller, you will use various tricks to fold more keys under the limited real estate. So the idea of combo is to press multiple keys to define another key. In practice, people usually just use two keys to define another key. Um, the, these two keys can be very simple keys, or it can be complicated keys. And the, the new key that's defined can be simple key and also complicated keys. So you can basically see uh, what I have here. Right now I'm pretending um, I'm using a keyboard with uh, 30 keys. And I usually define nine combos. And those three with colors are kind of optional. Because when I use a 40% keyboard, um, then there will be extra colon on the left and extra colon on the right. And those three keys will already be covered by these two columns. And I only define them when, when I'm using a 30% keyboard. But the, the ones I label as uh, equal sign, they are always defined, no matter it's on 30% or 40%. And, uh, the part here are actually quite common. Almost every person using the um, combo will define these ones. For example, when I press Z and X, it uh, uh, corresponds to the Apple Z, which is uh, uh, go back in history. And uh, X and C is uh, cut. And here I'm using uh, a special layout where C follows by D and followed by V, which t uh, this is from Comac and this is very convenient because now I can define copy and paste uh, using separate keys. Uh, okay, these two are just to, because of my personal preference because I use dollar sign somewhat often, so I, uh, I just press these two together to define them. And this is the uh, minus sign. And since I have auto shift, so if I press this, these two keys a little longer, it will become the under underline, which is also quite uh, commonly used. For... Uh, okay, so other people, uh, so here I define the tab and enter at these two positions, the, these two symmetrical positions, because uh, this allowed me to use uh, the ring finger and the index finger, which is uh, much stronger than the ring finger and the, the pinky finger. So many people define it here as well. But I find it uh, it's more consistent to press by these two fingers, similarly here. Uh, if, you, uh, if your spring constant is very, uh, very, very high, it might be hard to press two keys at the same time consistently. If, well, if that's the problem, then you will, you will only register one key and then get something that you don't really want. So you might put that into consideration too. If you plan to use combo, it's better to use lighter, lighter switches. Also, uh, people often define a combo on this, this Q and W as well. For example, they will put tab here or escape here. But I find it uh, uh, harder to use because, uh, for example, on Mac, Apple and Q and Apple and W, they are all kind of dangerous things to, to press. So I don't really mess up with these two keys. Uh, OK, I think that's all I want to talk about today. Hope this is uh, useful. Thanks for watching.